Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing my Halloween October Rabbit Hutch tour and I'm really sorry if there's any wind in the background. It is quite cold now since it's coming to the end of October. By the way, if you are wondering where the rabbits are, they are out free ranging at the moment so you won't see them inside the hutch. So as you can see I have tried to decorate it as much as I possibly could. I've added tinsel and pumpkin cutouts and little signs and inside it's got some Halloween toys which I'm going to be showing you. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and let's crack on. So for decoration on the hutch I have this pumpkin tinsel and I basically just got it from Poundland and it was really really cheap so I thought why not and it is sellotaped on. Some of the sellotape's coming off though but it's still fine and it adds a lot of decoration to the hutch. Okay so then we have some little pumpkin faces. And I decided to insert them all along the hutch. We also have some little pumpkin faces on the doors as well. So hanging from the door lock on the hutch, we have a little Halloween sign. I once again following the pumpkin theme, it says trick or treat. I thought this was so cute and it was so, so cute cheap from my local 99p shop so I just decided to pick it up because it was so cute and then down here on the bottom half of the hutch we have their water bottle and I think it's usually here but nothing's really changed also we have another feature to the hutch which has been changed since they began to chew their legs on the hutch the hutch has literally been falling to pieces so we decided to completely cut off the legs and just replace it with these little black wooden plastic thingies I'm not sure what they're called but they work really really well for holding the hutch up and we have six of these things underneath the hutch so I'm going to start by giving you a tour of the bottom half of the hutch so here's just an overview of what the bottom of the hutch looks like so as for bedding in the hutch at the moment, they are actually still on lino. As you can see, I've got their apple print lino down here, but I've also got a lovely, soft, fluffy fleece on top. Since we're coming into such cold weather now, I decided to put their fleece back in, and they absolutely love cuddling up on this fleece. They really, really love it, and it's so thick. In the corner of the hutch, nothing has really changed. They've still got their water bowl in here, and they're still really, really good with drinking out of the water bowl. Then over here, we have a pumpkin forage toy, and I have actually made a DIY video on this. Um, so if you want to learn how to make it, then you can go and watch that video, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Over in the corner, we have their Halloween-inspired witch's broomstick. I've made these for quite a while now, and my bunnies absolutely love shredding this in half, and it actually came out better than I thought it would this year, so I'm quite pleased with that. And then over here, we have their ramp. And then on the wall of their hutch we have a little ghost that I printed off from the internet and decided to cut out. I thought this would add decoration to the hutch and get the hutch into the Halloween spirit. Okay, so on the ceiling of the hutch I decided to make these really really cute hanging ghosts out of paper. I thought this made such a great effect to the hutch and I may be making a DIY video for this so if you'd like to keep your eyes peeled for that then you can. So we have another printout on the hutch and this is of a little rabbit eating and it says Hoppy Halloween. So on the right hand side of the bottom half of their hutch we have a hay rack on the door and it's filled with some fresh hay. Here we have their purple litter tray and it's filled with a back to nature bedding as usual. Next to the litter tray we have their jingly ball. We also have their little log toy which they like chewing. And then last but not least we have another witch's broom just so Timmy and Penelope can have one each. So here's a little overview of the top level. So on the top level of their hutch we also have more of this fleece and it's so thick and it's so warm and folds over and has so many layers and they just absolutely love snuggling up against it. So in the corner we now have a different food bowl and this is their pink yum yum food bowl 
and it is plastic and I really hate plastic food bowls because Timmy just knocks it down the stairs with all the food in and it's really annoying but the thing is I've actually broke two bowls in like a month so I need to order another bowl so that's why they've got a plastic one in here for the moment but we are getting a ceramic one very very soon and we have another pumpkin forage toy upstairs as well just once again so they can have one Each. and obviously once again if you want to check out how to make this pumpkin forage toy then just click the link in the description and it will take you straight to the DIY toy video and then we have their willow log tunnel and this just leads from the main upstairs living area into their sleeping area and then upstairs we do also have quite a lot of decoration as you can see we have more of these hanging ghosts which once again, I really, really want to make a DIY video for these. So once again, keep your eyes peeled for that video. Then on the wall of the hutch, we've got some little designs. This is a trick or treat sign and it's got a little spider and a spider web on it. And we also have a cute little black bat on here as well. I thought this was so, so cute and I couldn't resist it. And once again, we also have some more cute designs inside the hutch on the separator that separates the sleeping area from the living quarters we have two more designs so as for the sleeping area to be honest with you this is basically all it is it's just a pile of hay the reason for filling it with so much hay is because it is so so cold and I just wanted them to have somewhere to really get warm during the night because I know the weather is getting so cold so they can at least snuggle up in here and get really really warm before they move into the shed accommodation for the winter so that's basically it for what's inside the hutch now I'm just going to show you what's on top of the hutch on top of the hutch they have their blue waterproof rain cover i always have this on the hutch it is held down with some bricks just so it doesn't go flying up we have it folded over during the day and then we fold it down at night so it keeps all the wind and the rain as out. for now though this is just what the hutch looks like that's it for today's halloween october hutch tour i very very much hope you enjoyed the video and if so then why not hit that thumbs up button before you go and subscribe to us to keep up to date with our latest uploads if you want to keep in contact with us then you can do via our social networking sites which i will leave the links to in the description you can also pm us if you have any questions or queries or contact us via our email which once again i will leave in the description and until our next video i hope you have a hopping day bye for now